Hi beauties! So today I'm doing this fun makeup look for St. Patrick's Day and I'm doing it in collaboration with Lizzie Prosser Makeup here on YouTube and in her tutorial she's doing this beautiful and glamorous look right here. And Lissy is so talented and such a sweet person, so definitely go check out her channel. I'll link her tutorial and all her pages down below. So now I'm going to zoom you in so you can see the look up close. I've used green shadows on the lid and in the crease. I've kind of made my upper and lower lash line into a rainbow. And on one of the eyes it's going into a pot of gold. I hope you're excited for the tutorial and let's get started. First, I'm applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. In the crease, I'm going to blend this lime green shadow from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Then all over the lid, I'm going to pack on this green shadow by Inglot in number 331. I'm also placing that slightly in the crease with a smaller shader brush. Then I'm blending that out. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be using Walk of Shame from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And as an inner corner highlight, I'll be using this shimmery white by Sugar Pill called Diamond Eyes. To add a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm going to place this white glitter on top. It's by Starcrush Minerals and it's called Snowcap. I'm drawing the pot of gold at the outer corner of the eye right above my crease and I'm just using a black felt tip liner. To make that look extra black, I'm going over with my L'Oreal Superliner in Carbon Gloss. For the rainbow, I'm first going to draw a normal winged out liner using this gold liquid liner by H&M. I'm also using the L'Oreal liner to draw a thin line closest to the lash line and this will just work as a base for the false lashes that I'll be applying later. Next I'm going to make an orange liquid liner and to do that I'm going to mix this shadow by Meow Cosmetics with the Ilamasco sealing gel. I'm applying that above the gold liner. Now I'm going to start extending these lines to go into the pot of gold. To make a red liner, I'm going to mix the sealing gel with this pigment by Sugar Pill called Asylum. And this I'm placing above and along the orange. I'm filling in my lower waterline with NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And to set that in place, I'm using this pigment by Sugar Pill called Mint Soda. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm using that pigment as a liner and making it a part of the rainbow. For the blue liner, I'm going to mix another sugar pill pigment with the sealing gel and this one's called Holy Ghost. And I'm applying that underneath the green line. Then finally, I'm also going to use this pigment as a liner, it's by Sugar Pale as well, and it's called Magentric. And this is of course going underneath the blue. For the gold coins, I'm going to use the sealing gel again with this Goldilocks pigment by Sugar Pill. And this will be a base for the rhinestones that I'll be applying on top. These are the gold rhinestones that I'm going to use and I bought them on eBay. To help them stay in place, I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive and I'm just applying them where I place the gold shadow. Now I'm applying the Max Factor Masterpiece Max Mascara. For false lashes, I'll be using these ones called Au Naturel by House of Lashes. Here you can see the completed eye makeup. To contour, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Then for blush, I'm wearing Margin by MAC. And then to highlight, I use the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And finally, on my lips, I'm wearing the Slip Gloss by Makeup Mecca called Bad Inside. Okay guys, so I hope that you like the look. And as always, I'll list all the products that I've used down in the description bar. By the way, I'm going to start something new and exciting in my videos. Uh, I always see pictures of you guys recreating my looks and I get so happy to see that you get inspired by my makeup looks. So starting from my next video, I'm going to feature you guys' recreations. So if you want to try out one of my looks and have me put it up in a video, then just post a picture on Instagram and hashtag GlitterGirlC so I can find it. I hope you guys are excited for this. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, I am definitely excited to see your wonderful looks. And other than that, I wish you all happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!